you've been doing a great job of solving division problems. So a problem like this, 15 divided by 3, you would think, well, 3 times 5 is 15, so my quotient is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Nice and easy. But sometimes we need to divide numbers that don't divide evenly. Like if I had this problem, 17 divided by 3. Wait a second. I don't know anything times 3 that equals 17. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6 is 18. None of these are going to be 17. I can't use 5. I can't use 6. It's not going to go in evenly. So when we divide, and we might have, sometimes we divide and have something left over, and that's called a remainder. It's the amount that's left over. Let me draw a picture of 17 divided by 3. Let's say I had 17 of something. So here I have 17 circles, and I'm going to divide them into groups of three. Okay, so here's a group of three, here's a group of three, here's a group of three, another group of three, and here is a group of three. So I still got five groups, right? I could get five groups of three, just like that's 15, right? Three, six, nine, 12, 15. That's my 15. But look, I have these two left over. I have these two left over. I can't make a group of three with these, but I still have to figure something out about them. So I can make five groups with a remainder, something that is remaining. I have a remainder. I do this all the time. A remainder of two. I have two left over. All right. So how I would solve that, I have five groups that I made of my 17. That's 15 altogether circles and two circles are left over that's my remainder and I can write my quotient as five remainder two and I can just put this R to stand for the word remainder five remainder two so let me show you how we're going to do that with this long division symbol instead of drawing out a picture every time okay so remember we got five remainder two Right. So here I'm going to think to myself with this problem, 17 divided by 3, and I know 3 times 5 is 15. That gets, gets me pretty close to 17. 3 times 6 is 18. I only have 17 things. I can't make talk about groups of 18. Okay, I don't have enough, so I can't use 3 times 6. So I am going to use this 3 times 5, and I'm going to put my quotient right on top like I had before. But now I'm going to see, well, how many do I have left over? 3 times 5 is 15, you know, so I'm going to take those 15 out that we circled earlier. So I'm going to just do 17 minus 15. I'm going to do 3 times 5 is 15. I'm going to write that underneath my 17. And I'm going to subtract to find out how many I have left over. And 7 minus 5 is 2. 1 minus 1 is nothing. So here is my remainder. I have 2 left over, and I could write that up here next to my quotient, 5 remainder 2. So 17 divided by 3 is 5 with 2 left over, 5 remainder 2. Let's try one more problem like this. Let's do the problem 21 divided by 4. 21 divided by 4. So I'm going to think to myself, well, what do I know about my 4s? But my multiples of 4, that will get me close to 21. Well, I know 4 times 5 equals 20. I know that 4 times 6 equals 24. Well, I only have 21 things here. I can't take away 24 of them. All right, so I can't use 4 times 6. So 4 times 5 is the closest I can get to 21. So I'm going to put that 5 up on the top of my quotient. 5 times 4, that is 20, right? We already said 5 times 4 is 20. So I can take 20, I can make 20, um, can make equal groups of 4 with 20 things. And let's see how many I'm going to have left over. I'm going to subtract. 21 minus 20 gives me 1 left over. So my answer would be 5 remainder 1. 
Okay, so I'm trying to get as close with my fours. With, when I count by fours and multiply by four, I'm trying to get as close to 21 as I can. The closest I can get is five times four, which is 20. I'm going to have one left over. Okay, let's try one more example. And go ahead, feel free to do these, write these out on paper and pencil along with me so you remember the steps. Let's do 65 divided by 8. 65 divided by 8. I know there isn't anything times 8 that equals 65. I know 8 times 7 is 56. I know 8 times 8 is 64. And 8 times 9 is 72. The closest I can get to 65 without going over is 8 times 8 is 64. So I'm going to use this multiplication fact to help me with this division problem. 8 times 8 is 64, right? So I know I have 8, I can get 8 groups of 8 out of 65. That would give me 64 altogether. How many would I have left over? So 8 times 8 is 64. I'm going to write that underneath my 65 and then I'm going to subtract to see how many I have left over. 5 take away 4 is 1. 6 take away 6 is nothing. So I have 8 remainder 1. Again, I think about what times 8 is going to get me the closest to 65. 8 times 8 is the closest. 8 will be my quotient. 8 times 8 is 64. I'm going to write it underneath my 65, and I'm going to subtract to find out how many I have left over. I have one left over. One left over. All right, so I want you to try to do some problems like that today, and we're going to be practicing this for, for a while.